and welcome to another episode of Jamie and Julia. Oh! <laughs> bon appétit. Mastering the Art of French Cooking. Volume one, from Julia Child. Pick a recipe from the book, any recipe at all. Today, I'm gonna be making garlic soup. Garlic soup. I heard that and I was just like, I gotta make that, I gotta try it. I have never had a garlic soup before. It's called I go buido. I go buido. So enjoying your first bowl of garlic soup, you might never suspect what it is made of because the garlic is boiled. Its flavor becomes exquisite, aromatic, and almost undefinable. Ego boido. Ego boido. Is considered to be very good indeed for the liver, blood circulation, general physical tone, and spiritual health. A head of garlic is not all too much for three pints of soup. For some addicts, it may not be enough. <sighs> garlic soup. Start this recipe off with a bulb of garlic. Break this sucker open. Separate each clove. 33 cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna boil up some water. Add the garlic cloves. And boil that for 30 seconds. Drain them. Pour cold water over them. This makes it much easier to peel. Saucepan. Three pints of water, which is 1,400-ish milliliters. Peeled cloves of garlic. Around two teaspoons of salt. Pinch of pepper. Half a bay leaf. Just a couple cloves. Quarter teaspoon of thyme and a quarter teaspoon of sage. Now, this is my first time ever holding sage in my hand. It smells exquisite. I don't think I need to chop these up though. I'm just gonna leave them as is. Four sprigs of parsley, three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to boil this slowly for 30 minutes. So just keep checking that seasoning and something I have to do in advance. So I'm gonna do that while I have some time. Rounds of hard toasted French bread. Croots, croots, croots. I've made croots before. I made them for the French onion soup. I need like a baguette. I went to this Italian bakery in the Bronx uh, and picked up this beautiful, artisanal French baguette. I'm just only gonna use some of it. Slice into three quarters to an inch thick, these little slices here. Something like that. Turn the oven on to 325. And bake these for half an hour, but halfway through baking, and take them out. I'm gonna cover both sides with olive oil and put them back in, finish the job. After 30 minutes, I'm gonna turn the soup down just to a dull roar. Beat the egg yolks in the soup tureen for a minute until they are thick and sticky, which a soup tureen is like this. It's like an old fashioned like soup bowl thing that you would put on a, like a dinner table and then people like, you know, grab their own soup, which I most definitely do not have that because uh, because I am a millennial who doesn't have things like that. What I think I'm gonna do, bowl me. So I'm gonna strain my soup through the strainer. And then I need a wooden spoon through the sieve here to get any remaining garlic juices. Give this a really good whisk. So I'll need three egg yolks. One, two, Three. Egg whites I can save for a rainy day. All I need is this. I wanna use this for the next step, so I'm gonna wash this broken eggshell into the egg yolks, so I'm just gonna strain it. So two to three tablespoons of olive oil, but adding a drop, mix it in, and just a bit more, mix it in, like you're making a mayonnaise. I take a ladleful of the soup, and then add it into the egg yolks. But I have to whisk really quickly because this is really hot. Let's go, let's go. Don't want that to scramble, so I'm gonna whisk ferociously. Okay. I don't need my ladle. Okay, I'm gonna add the rest of the soup. And check the seasoning. Add a little more pepper, a little more salt. 
arrange the croutes on the very top. And the finishing touch, of course, is some Parmesan Reggiano. And that is all there is to it. Order up. So good. Bread in here turns into like garlic bread with cheese and it acts like a sponge. There's no butter, there's no cream, there's no meat. It's all garlic, baby. Uh, if you could just do one thing, one thing only, uh, there's like the notification bell right beside the subscribe button. Um, I've never asked in the past, but if you could just like click that button, that would be great because that means that you're getting notified that I'm releasing all these videos and I would love for you to be notified. Uh, besides that though, this was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. Au revoir.